Whoa, what's up you guys? Today's part three in our PC build series we're doing for you. Today, we have a very special presentation of a new case, not released yet, a world premiere. And we filled it up with some sweet specs to get you on the journey to max settings in Black Ops with a budget of $1,500. Let's go. Splash. Let's take a journey down to Nuketown and check out this wild accomplishment as we set the goal to get a gaming PC within the budget of $1,500, achieve 1080p gaming, and over 60 frames in an ultra or epic settings. But first, let's take a look at this new in-win case. Okay guys, are you ready for the sick reveal? Are you ready? Three, two. I feel like I'm David Blaine here. I'm gonna do like some magic here. One. Whoa, the skeleton's back. I'm kidding guys. So this is a brand spanking new Inwin 103 with a tempered glass side panel and some killer RGB. Inwin Glow. Okay guys, this case is just sick. RGB laying on the front of the case. It is five volt addressable, which means you can tie it into your motherboards with RGB lighting software. This allow you to match the lighting with the rest of your system. You'll be synced and stylish in no time. So with Black Ops taking internet by storm, it's by no surprise we're gonna name it after the game. As pointed out in our comments, Rune is loosely based off me. So I'm gonna name this one Blackout. Okay, let's take a look inside. Starting with graphics, we needed to take a step up from our previous builds. So for Blackout, we went with a GPU upgrade. We tossed in the MSI GTX 1060, 60 gigabyte armor edition. Next for the motherboard, we went with the MSI X370 Gaming Pro Carbon. Seeing as the case fully supports ATX board, we went the route of, well, ATX. We popped in the ADATA XPG SX6000 256 gig SSD. This will allow wicked fast boot times and, well, our games will launch just like that. Next, we've upgraded the processor to the Ryzen 5 2600, taking advantage here of the six physical cores and 12 threads. We as well upped our RAM game to 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance. Keeping it simple, we went the Corsair CX series PSU, the CX 550 watt. This is a nice beefed up full size PC that can run all your favorite games and keep you current. Now, how did Blackout bench? When we dived into Fortnite, we saw wicked performance. Immediately, we jumped into epic settings where we were able to attain 89 frames per second at 1080p gaming. I mean, look at all these fancy buildings, looking fresh and epic. Overwatch excelled as well. On max settings being epic, we were able to hit 1080p gaming at 112 frames per second. Gameplay was as smooth as butter, and heck, look, we even got play of the game. Good job, Russ. When we dived into PUBG, we as well cranked us up to the maximum settings, which in this case was ultra. We were able to hit 77 frames per second at 1080p gaming. The world in PUBG just as well, it's absolutely gorgeous. In our quest to get a chicken dinner, we got one kill this time. No, we're close to chicken dinner, Russ, yet. Wah, wah. Now, the fastest game online next to Sonic Ball Racing, Forza Horizon 4. The game has to be one of the best looking games to come out in 2018. It's stunning, beautiful visuals, and you need a card to keep up with it. That's where the 1060 comes in, and it does just that. We were able to get ultra settings, 1080p gaming, at 79.5 frames per second. The game is just beautiful. Even if you don't like the thrill of absolute speed, it's worth just driving around and appreciating the fine details of this game. 10 out of 10, would recommend. So now more the first person shooter side of things. We dove into Ghost Recon Wildlands, Battlefield 1, and of course, Black Ops 4. When we checked out Wildlands, we hit max settings and hit 61 frames per second. More impressively, we got a stellar performance with Battlefield 1 with ultra settings, their max setting, and scored 90 frames per second at 1080p gaming. I truly appreciated Battlefield 1 a whole lot more when you're able to really appreciate the detail, such as like the fire effect and just the action sequences. I can't even wait to see what this is gonna look like when we do our high-end gaming PC builds in the next coming weeks. It's gonna look absurd. Now, the one you guys are all looking for. Blops 4, that's right, I said Blops, it's not gonna get Black Ops, Blops. The game of the season, the big kahuna, the big boy. All right, the hype is killing me. Let's just dive into this. High octane gameplay with Blops 4. As much as it is a shooter, it's as well a visually stunning game. The 1060 complements it well for this budget, we said. More impressively, Russ is exceptionally good at it. And maybe it's time to retire the PUBG dream. We fired up Blops 4 and pushed it immediately to max settings to attain our maximum hype. High octane gaming, guys. We crushed an entire tub of G Fuel and sent out some tweets saying we're going live on Twitch. Then we dropped in. Four kills, and a victor later, boom, boom, boom. 
we were able to hit 86 frames per second at 1080p gaming. It's not a chicken dinner, but a victory. A victory for us. We're all keeping count. So that's the overview of our benchmarks with a $1,500 budget. Now the price reveal. This price comes in at $1,345 Canadian or $1,028 USD for our American friends watching. If we were to build this PC for you and as well install and charge for Windows, be looking at $1,575 or $1,203 USD as of October 18th, 2018. All right, guys, you know how this next part works. For MEXP, make sure you guys are commenting on all the videos for October, including this one. Let us know what you think. Do you like the video? Do you hate the video? What do you hope for the next guy? Next one's gonna be streaming PCs, so you know, maybe throw some parts in a list here. We'll see what we can do. You guys know the prize as well. It's gonna be a crazy MSI bundle, which is like, wow, we revealed it in the last video. So make sure you guys are checking that out. As well, guys, if you aren't doing so already, make sure you guys are following us on social media. Facebook and Twitter are the same, just at Memory Express. And we have an official Instagram, official Memory Express. Now I go see if I can beat Russ, our builder, and around the Black Ops. So until next time, Steve out. Get it, the Black Ops. Did it work?